Right, I'm doing a little video vlog today because uh, driving seems to be the thing which I've focused my mind on for the last two days. Firstly, this thing that they're going on about on uh, news about YouTube allowing people to do videos of themselves speeding. Well, <coughs> everybody knows that speeding is a stupid idea. But we all do it from time to time, even if it's just people that go 34 when it's 30 zone and 62 when it's 60 zone. At the end of the day, speeding, speeding, if you're doing 100 mile an hour in a 70 zone, it's really not that much worse than doing 35 in a 30 zone. If you're in a 70 zone doing 100 miles an hour and there's no one else on the road, then, you know, no one's going to get hurt. If you're doing 34 miles an hour, and you're in a zone where there's some dumb kid who's not looking where he's going, and he steps out in front of you, chances are you're going to kill somebody at 34 miles an hour more often than you're going to kill someone at 100 miles an hour. So they probably go for killing yourself, although quite how, I'm not sure. Maybe if you were sort of doing 34 miles an hour off a cliff, that would be worse than doing 100 miles an hour not off of a cliff. <coughs> But the other thing is, it just seems that whenever the weather gets talked about on the news and they start saying, oh yeah, driving conditions are going to get really terrible, I've come to the conclusion now that there are people who are genuinely thinking, well, the road conditions are going to get worse, so that means that I'm going to have to drive as though we've got six feet of snow, even though there isn't any snow and it's not even fucking raining. Because that's what seemed to happen yesterday. Uh, I've heard that I would go and pick Luke up from school because I could and I couldn't get back in time mainly because of the large volume of twats that there were on the road including at one point a guy who when realising that he'd got a police car behind him slowed down from 50 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour in a national speed limit zone which on the road, on the road that it was on was like 60 miles an hour so pretty stupid then we got into Bakewell and it decided it would be an even better idea in the 30 zone to slow down to 15 miles an hour. So I wasn't entirely surprised when the police stopped him. Uh, I didn't stop to find out whether or not he was drunk or anything, although it was very tempting. When I had some two vehicles, then that'd be an old man. And that seemed to set the standard for the rest of the afternoon where I got stuck behind every single old person still on the road in Derbyshire. And um, the journey from Buxton uh, to Belfast, which could normally be done in a steady 40 minutes, considering that everywhere sort of 40 to 60 mile an hour speed limits all the way home. Uh, so 40 minutes isn't bad. Yeah. It took me an hour and 50 minutes. And it'd take me two hours to drive from Nottingham to Buxton. But at the end of the day, I can't really complain because I'm getting paid to drive around and do a job that I actually quite enjoy. I just don't really enjoy it when there are idiots on the road in front of me. I'm currently driving on the back road to Derbyshire, which is absolutely fantastic because there's no one in front of me, there's no one behind me, there's no dangerously fast Polish drivers coming the other way, and um, I sometimes feel like I could use this as an audition to take the top gear, but uh, maybe not, because uh, this is a transit van. Back to Transit Connect Man, which is Dave Hill will attest, are quite possibly the most uncomfortable cars, not vans, in the world to drive. They're, uh, oh, here's a picture of one. <laughs> the seat is more or less bolt upright, the steering wheel is just all up and down, and it's quite pointing out to me, in and out as well. But uh, it's in as far as it'll go, and it's still a really uncomfortable driving position. Um, I can't think of any van I'd rather drive less. Apart from the Bilingo that I had when I was in the um, So yeah, that's my idea of doing a video vlog for the day. Um, not sure if I should even put it on the internet because there's probably someone sweat who's going to think, oh, he's driving and talking at the same time, he shouldn't be doing that. And I'm pretty sure that he's looked at the uh, camera at least twice. 
Yeah, well, I'm actually looking at the rear view mirror, or the wing mirrors, when I'm looking in that direction, because I am quite a conscientious driver, and uh, I tend to look around and see what's going on around me, which is what I think that we should all do when we're driving, because that's how you avoid accidents. Most of the time, it's not about how fast you're going or how slow you're going, but how much attention you pay to other people on the road and the road itself. Because, uh, one of the things that I've noticed this past couple of days is a few people that have uh, quite clearly gone off the road because uh, they've gone on to, they've touched onto a soft verge, which is uh, basically liquid because of the weather that we've had. So, uh, yeah, drive safely, people.